Although I'm not an American and therefore cannot vote, I am nevertheless concerned about who becomes the next U.S. president. It is, after all, the most powerful position in the world. On a selfish level, I want Hillary Clinton to be elected because in the short term, the stock market will rally and my portfolio will be enriched. Whereas if Donald Trump becomes the next president, the reaction of Wall Street will be negative and could possibly result in an initial correction of about 7%. I will lose money. However, if I look beyond my own personal greed, I see a much graver threat that, depending on who's elected, could unravel. Let's first put aside all the noise mainstream media and their so-called journalists have generated in order to distract Americans from the one issue that really matters, not just for the United States, but for the world. And that is the USA's foreign policy with regards to Syria. Donald Trump wants to work with Russia in Syria in order to eliminate ISIS, while Hillary wants to enforce a no-fly zone, which will very likely result in a military conflict with Russia. Although Donald Trump may not be ideal, a vote for Hillary Clinton could mean a vote for World War III. Therefore, I plead with my neighbors and allies to the South, before making that final decision on Election Day, ask yourself, do you want to finally destroy ISIS in Syria, or do you want war with Russia? One last point, which is this, that it's now Hillary Clinton who wants to start an air war uh, with Russia over Syria by calling for a no-fly zone. We have 2,000 nuclear missiles on hair trigger alert, and Mikhail Gorbachev, the uh, former premier of the Soviet Union, is saying we are closer to a nuclear war than we have ever been. Under Hillary Clinton, we could slide into nuclear war very quickly from her declared policy in Syria. So. I won't sleep well at night if Donald Trump is elected, but I sure won't sleep well at night if Hillary Clinton is elected. Fortunately, we have another choice other than these two candidates who are both promoting lethal policies. But on the issue of war and nuclear weapons and the potential for nuclear war, it's actually Hillary's policies which are much scarier than Donald Trump, who does not want to go to war with Russia. He wants to seek modes of uh, of working together, which is the route that we need to follow.